Hey developers, today we're gonna to look at the Create Nuxt app CLI. We're gonna use it and create a new app and we're gonna see how we can use that and why it's a little bit better than using the starter template. So let's begin. Oh, and if you don't know me, my name is Eric. I'm a software developer and on this channel, you guys learn all about Vue.js. We'll actually also talk about Ember.js at times. Well, I'll give you software development advice. So if you guys like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button and like button and that really helps me. And then share it with some of your friends. That'd be really helpful for me. So let's begin. Okay, so here, if you ever go to the nuxtjs.org website and you go to the installation guide, you can see it tells you a lot about installing Nuxt using the starter template. And that requires you to have Vue installed and then or view CLI install, and then you use this command view init nux community star template and project name. And that does work great. Uh, however, uh, there's actually a little bit more powerful way of creating nux apps, which I would recommend everyone to start using if you haven't already. Um, of course, you can always run nux and add it to an existing application, just like an installation. You can, if you have an existing like node app, you can install nux in it. Um, and use it that way. But let's say we were starting from scratch. There's something called create Nuxt app. And there's also some other ones. There's um, other starter templates, but create Nuxt app is cool because you can do a lot of different things with it. And so all you need to make sure is you have NPM 5.2.0 or later. So I have my command prompt open here, if you can see it. So if I input NPM dash version, I have 5.5.1, so I'm good. And I actually, if I know node version, I'm running 9.3.0. So make sure you have a newer version of node. So to create a new app, all we need to do is type in, or if you're using yarn, we do npx, npx, and then we type in create nux app. And I didn't have to install anything additional to do this, by the way. Create nux app, and then the project name, as it says here. So we'll just call it um, my test eric one project. I just made that up. So you can see after you run it, it's going to uh, start downloading some files for you. This will just take a second. All right. So after it finally installs all the files here, you'll ask you for a project name. So I'm just hit enter and description, I'll hit enter. And this is kind of neat here. It'll ask you what custom server framework you want to use. So this will actually allow you to kind of expose the server um, and you can then make change to it and see how it's running your Nuxt app. So you can see it has Express, Koa, Adonis, Happy, Feathers, Micro. I'm going to use Express. And then you can actually install a custom UI framework too, like Bootstrap, Vutify, Bulma, Tailwind, Element UI, Bufy. So I'm going to use Vutify, and then it's going to ask you, do you want to have it just like a single page app or do you want to have a universal? And universal is where you have a node server and the node server actually helps render the page for you so it's quicker on the first initial load. So we can actually use universal here. And then even ask you, do you want to use Axios? So, you know, why not? Yes. We can turn off the ESLint no or, or yes. So I'll just say no and author name and ask you if you're using Node or NPM or Yarn, so NPM. So now it's kind of like the Vue 3.0 installer where it asks you a series of questions. It doesn't have as quite as many. It's not asking you like if you want SAS or CSS. I mean, that's pretty easy to add in. But it, you can see right from here, it was really easy to get up and running and now it's installing the application. So let's go ahead and install it and see what this template looks like. Okay, great, it's installed right now. So we can now change to my test Eric one and we can go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna run code, uh, Visual Studio code first. And now I'm gonna run npm run dev. So here's Visual Studio code. And I'll go ahead and make it bigger for you to see. So you see here is the structure of the app. And we noticed when we created the app, we actually chose Express. So what's cool is if we look inside the server folder, now we have an index.js file. And this kind of 
shows how the server is running. I'm going to go ahead and close this ESLint error. We don't care about that. But you can see here, here's the express server. We have the host set up. We can actually change the host real quickly here. We can see how it's it requires Nuxt. You can see kind of see the innards of how it's creating everything, how it's using the render, and then it's server listing on HTTP host port. So it's actually running the server right from here and we can make the changes to this file if we need to do something special like we're doing, maybe we have certain routes or certain things we need to do before the app starts, we can kind of filter through this, which is awesome. So if we open up the app uh, and it should be on localhost 3000, host 3000, you see here is what it looks like. So this is, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. So this is what comes right out of the box from it. You can see here, it comes with all these different title screens, uh, different top navigation bars you can kind of play around with. Um, it has the Vutify, it has the logos right here. Welcome to the Vutify Nux.js template. So it's running for you. It's all server side rendered. If you look at the page source, you can see here, it's all at the bottom. You see all the CSS it's doing. And you actually, here's all the HTML in here. So it's definitely being run um, with our node service to help with the initial load. And so if you look at it here, we have the ser we have the server, or actually we have the plugins full here. It set up Vutify for us. It gave us the colors, the primary colors, it used this view use. And if we look at the Nux config file, if you guys are familiar with how Nux works, you have this plugins, you have this plugins right here. And this is where you set the plugins and this actually points to your plugins folder is right here so it actually is loading this for us and install all the packages which is cool so we got up and running quickly if you look at our pages we have our index file so this is as you expect it has the v cards for Vutify, has the logo here at the top um, has these different cards so you could really see it's kind of gives you up and running really quickly and you don't have to worry about anything let's see here in the layout it has the default layout has a navigation drawer that's all the stuff up at the top you see um, obviously, we'd want to fix this. We don't want all these different navigation at the top. It even has a right-hand navigation, which you can switch the drawer on either side. So you can kind of see how it does that. Uh, you see here's the toolbar and the menu. And so this is, so the layout actually gets rendered above everything else. And then you get the pages. And then looks like here's your page for Inspire. So it's cool. It has all this stuff built in. It has obviously a Vuex store. This looks exactly like the template that you would have done the starter template, but has it's a lot easier to get running and up and running uh, quickly. Here's your logo view component, your Vutify logo. So as for ease of use of getting started with Nux, I think this is the way to go. I mean, you can just quickly run this npx command and create your Nux.js app and you're just ready to go. And then you can even choose, like, like me, if you're design challenged, you can you can get up and running with a library real quickly. Um, of course, you'll need to go to the actual Vutify documentation and figure out how it works and and set up your bars correctly. And obviously this is, this is nice looking, but I don't know if I want a big dark theme for my app if I was starting something new, but you know, who knows, maybe I would. So thanks for watching. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is a cool way to start a Nuxt app? Um, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, please click that subscribe button and like button and uh, have a great day. Thanks.